Hey guys, in this video I'll show you how to check your car battery and charging system using a battery load tester. This tool is really easy to use and better than using a voltmeter because it can check the health of the battery and tell us how capable it is to start the car. If you're interested in one I'll have a link to it down in the video description. The best time to do this test is just before winter starts because cold weather reduces battery performance and a weak battery will quickly fail when the temperature drops. So let's get ready for testing. To start, make sure the battery is fully charged, otherwise the results won't be accurate. If the car hasn't been driven for a few days, or is driven short distances frequently, it could be low on charge, so a 15 minute drive is recommended to top up the battery. If the battery is too low to start the car, the best way to charge it is by using a gentle battery charger like this one. Avoid charging at high amperage or boosting the car, because that could shorten the life of the battery and charging system. Once it's charged, turn on the headlights for one minute. This will drain the surface charge that builds up during charging, which can cause a falsely elevated voltage reading. And now we're ready for testing. To hook up the testing tool, connect the black clamp to the negative battery post, which is marked with a minus sign. Rock the clamp side to side to get a good connection. Now lift the cap from the positive side, and connect the red clamp. Once hooked up, the tool will turn on automatically, and I'll start with a load test. Select the battery icon and press OK. Select standard test. Select your battery type, I have a regular battery. And now select the battery rating, I'm gonna use CCA, which stands for cold cranking amps. To find the CCA, look on the top of the battery, be careful not to confuse it with cranking amps, which is CA. So I have 640 for CCA and 800 for CA. I'm going to select CCA. Make sure the engine and accessories are turned off. Now use the up and down buttons to select your CCA. And press OK to start the test. And here are the results. The voltage measures 12.64, which is excellent. 12.65 means that it's fully charged. The CCA was 768. It's even more than the rating of 640. Most batteries fail when the CCA drops to half of their rating. So if the CCA measured is 60% of the rating or below, that means that the battery is getting weak and may fail soon. The next reading is resistance. It measured 4.11 milliohm, which is excellent. The lower the reading, the more capacity in life the battery has remaining. And lastly, the life remaining was 100% and state of charge 99%. If the state of charge is below 70%, then the battery should be recharged to avoid damage. The longer a car battery stays discharged, the more damage occurs. So to get the most out of your battery, make sure to keep it charged above 70% at all times. So overall the battery scored great and there was no indication that it will fail soon. The next test measures voltage while the car starts to diagnose starting problems. Select the start icon, place the tester safely away from belts and fans so it doesn't interfere with them when the engine starts, and start the engine. Here's the voltage graph of the start. It dropped to 8.1 volts when the starter solenoid engaged and jumped up to 10.8 while the engine was cranking. The tester rated it as low because it dropped to 8 volts, but it's actually the cranking voltage that's important and 10.8 is very good. As long as the cranking voltage stays above 10, the battery is good, so if the car won't start and the voltage is above 10, that means that a bad connection or a bad starter is the likely cause. This test can also be done with a voltmeter. I'm just going to do it quickly now to show you the difference. So the lowest voltage was 10.85, which matches the cranking voltage on the testing tool. The voltmeter didn't pick up the drop to 8 volts because it happened too quickly. The next test measures how well the charging system is performing, and it should be done with the car running. Select the charge icon, and I'll follow the instructions, turn the headlights on for 3 seconds, and turn them off, and rev the engine to 2500 rpm for 3 seconds, and now press OK. 
So here are the results. The minimum voltage was 14.14 and maximum 14.30, which is very good. Both of the readings are within the normal range of 13.5 to 14.5 volts. If they're not in the normal range, then a problem with the alternator is very likely. The ripple voltage was 0.15, which is very good. Ideally, it should be below 0.5. Some causes of high ripple are a battery that's going bad, a bad battery connection, or a failed diode inside the alternator. And there's one last function that I'll show you. Select the wave icon, and this will show you a graph of the current voltage, which can be used like a voltmeter to pick up even the slightest changes in voltage. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, it really helps out my channel, and consider subscribing, I'll be posting more car, home, and other repair videos in the future. Thanks for watching!